Welcome. Pain behind the eyes, occipital neuralgia, pulling behind the skull, they all go hand in hand together. The nerve that comes underneath the suboccipital area, the main nerve is the greater occipital nerve root. It goes over the head behind the eyes. As a result of forward head posture, rounded shoulders, keeping our arms in an elevated position out in front of us, prolonged periods of time, these upper trap muscles behind us continue to squeeze, contract, pulling underneath the base of the skull where they attach into the external occipital protuberance or the EOP. As a result of this continued contracture, these nerves underneath the skull be, can become extremely irritated, causing pain under here, pain over the head, tingling sensation over the head, and quite commonly, headaches behind the eyes. A few techniques you can do to combat many of these symptoms. The first thing I want you to do, I want you to go ahead and tuck your chin in like this. I want you to grab behind your head and I want you to pull all the way down. And by tucking the chin in and pulling it all the way down as if your chin is coming to your chest, you're gonna feel a nice pull. Hold it there about 20 seconds. Turn your head to the right, let go, go ahead and pull down again, 20 seconds. You'll feel that nice pulling behind the skull, nice release. Go to the left. Pull down, 20 seconds. You feel a nice release, a nice pull underneath the base of the skull. You're gonna get all three sides, the middle, left, and right. The next thing I want you to do, I want you to contact a point called LI4. LI4, as you can see right here, is in the second metacarpal area. If you bring your thumbs together, you see a muscle come up right here. You're gonna take your thumb and go underneath that muscle and push it right against that metacarpal, right against that bone. It'd be very, very, very sore, very tender, which is good. Just let it be a little sore and you're gonna hold each hand for 30 seconds, okay? That's gonna release a lot of those headaches if you're having them and the headaches can go right away. Do both, arm, bo both hands for 30 seconds. The next thing I want you to do, I want you to take both thumbs you can put your fingers on the side of your head and your thumbs will go underneath the skull. And you're gonna work your way outwards. You're gonna do little circular motions. And it's gonna be a real sore, but I want you to just massage it underneath that skull and start from the middle and go laterally all the way to the outside. And then work your way in again. And as you feel those points, a lot of them will be real tender, trigger points, muscle contracture, and you're gonna actually break down a lot of those muscle fibers to ease that mobility. Very important, when you're spending a lot of time looking down, texting, using your arms out in front of you, the head is going into a forward head posture, going into a reversal of the normal curve. This is the normal curve, a lordotic curve, and it's going the opposite way, and the spinous processes are fanning, the muscles are pulling. So you need to be aware that when you're looking down, you need to look down more from the chin, trying to keep those ears as level as you can with the shoulders. The more your head goes forward, for every inch it goes forward, it's an additional 10 pounds. Your head weighs 12 pounds. So one inch is 22 pounds, two inches, 32 pounds, three inches, 42 pounds of weight that the back of the muscles, ligaments, tendons, and the lower neck has to hold up that heavy head. The last thing I wanna tell you to do is an ice pack. An ice pack can be a miracle worker for you. Take the ice pack, put it in the freezer. If you don't have an ice pack, you, you can use ice chips. You can use ice, wrap it up however you want. You can use frozen uh, peas, whatever is easier for you. But put a paper towel over that area, put it underneath the skull. I like the ice pack because it stays soft and stays nice and cold. So cover it with a paper towel underneath the skull, 10, 15 minutes. You can do that periodically. That will reduce inflammation underneath the occipital area taking irritation off those nerves, particularly going over the head behind the eyes. I really believe if you do those, it's really gonna make a big difference with you. You can get well naturally without drugs, without those invasive poisons that's gonna do damage to your liver and your kidney. Do the right thing and you'll get the right results. I hope this helps you. I ask you to share this video, leave your comments below, subscribe if you haven't, so you can continue to receive the best of the self-help videos here on the internet and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.